Good Monday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick check of your forecast, and it is going to be another hot one going into the next couple of days. But if you have not heard the forecast change over the last few days through the weekend and into today, some relief is finally in store, but it's it's going to take again toward about the end of the week to actually get it here. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit. And, of course, I'll have more around News Channel 3 at 6, so stay tuned for more there. In the meantime, again, looking at some nicer conditions toward the weekend, but, again, some pretty steamy conditions out there for right now. Drop your location and whatever weather reports you got into the comments section. And if you can't stick around for the whole weather blog, again, all you have to do is just check down here. Or you can go to, again, our main website, which is wrhe.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, ideas, photographs. We'll show you some of yours coming up. Just email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Next couple of days, little if any relief coming on through. A little bit less hot as we go toward about Thursday, right before the changes really start to take place. But... Unfortunately, right now, it's just not really all what you would call cool. We have been about 10 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year and not looking at much hope anytime soon out there for right now. 95, our official high temperature, regular air temperature of 80 degrees, and again, way above normal for this time of the year. But here's the most important thing. Last day of September, that's as much rainfall as we've gotten in the Memphis metro area, which will go down if we don't get any rain between now and midnight as one of the driest Septembers on record. So this could be a record-breaking month for no rainfall out there. Should be in the mid to upper 50s for morning lows, mid to lower 70s for low temperatures early this morning, and came within one degree of tying a record high today, so pretty much on the steamy side out there. Sunshine, a few people out and about at the Grove in Oxford, 91 degrees, humidity up to about 41%, so a heat index of about 93 degrees at this point in time. From around the area of Rhodes College in central Memphis, got again temperatures back to about the mid-90s with westerly, southwesterly winds and not seeing much more than just blue skies. A few clouds off in the distance, but that's about it. Into Collierville, again, approaching sunset dinner time on the square, 93 degrees. Winds out of the southwest at about 9. High temperature today of 94. And looking back toward Appling Road, and around Germantown Parkway, I-40 was backed up bumper to bumper earlier. That has since cleared the area, so looking good for outbound travel at rush hour tonight. Again, heading into the rest of the evening, let's make certain we don't have any more accidents out there. And the Mississippi River showing a decent amount of sunshine out there from our cotton exchange camera. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in uh, for tonight. And again, thanks for dropping on by from across the Mid-South and points beyond. Anita Avery Coleman, weather report from Batesville, Mississippi, hot and dry. Thank you very much for that one. Susan Anderson, too hot for recess. I imagine there's a lot of teachers out there who are saying a lot from that out there. Stay cool if you can. Later weeks, night 40-ish and sub-40 text. Tuesday night, I'm assuming that's NE for Nebraska, Jack Hurley. Thank you very much for that one. A few pop-up clouds. You can see, again, the moisture turning into those clouds as the winds out of the south come off the Gulf of Mexico and starting to lose that as the sun gets closer to the horizon. We're not seeing anything in the way of rainfall. High pressure over the southeast United States doing a good job, just as its name implies, pushing down toward the surface and keeping things nice and quiet. So little, if anything, expected there in the way of rainfall. Current temperatures right before 6 o'clock, lower to mid-90s. Heat index numbers across the Mid-South on WeatherNet 3 in the triple digits around U University of Memphis Earth Sciences, U of M there, and Bethel Springs showing 101 degrees right before sunset. So pretty steamy out there for right now. Running the numbers into tonight, the computers gets a a little bit over eager, placing a small chance of some sprinkles out there from time to time. I'm not seeing anything like that uh, at this point anytime soon. Uh, let's see, some in Horn Lake, Melinda Lumpkin, thank you very much for that. Hot around the area there, thank you very much uh, for that weather report. Margaret Morris, hot in Clarksdale, Mississippi, thank you very much for that one. News Channel 3 at 10, Tim Simpson's forecast coming up later on tonight, and temperatures in the high 70s to lower 80s. Tomorrow morning, News Channel 3's Todd Demers on the air with Daybreak. And numbers back in the high 60s to the lower 70s. Repeat performance as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Second verse, same as the first. 
kids, ask your parents. It's a great song. It's uh, very much applicable as we go into tomorrow with mid-90s possible as we head into the peak of the afternoon briefly and those southerly winds continuing to not cool anybody off anytime soon. So again, pretty steamy right on in through there. Rest of the forecast looking like this. Again, a few clouds across the area, otherwise sunny and again, decently mild across much of the Mid-South with temperatures back in the mid to upper 90s tomorrow. Same thing for Wednesday with very hot conditions across much of the Mid-South. By the time we hit about election day on Thursday, temperatures will drop a little bit. Not much, though, back in the lower 90s, and please make certain to get out and cast your ballot like a good citizen should, as we see, again, little, if any, problems for getting out and voting on Thursday for parts of the area. Then we start to see that change taking place, heading for the lower to mid-80s, which, again, is pretty close to normal, but we're going to be going even further than that as we go past this next weekend. This is where we'll start to see the chances of rainfall kicking on through and then increasing into, again, the second full week of autumn into October with some mid to upper 70s on the table and some mid 50s possible as we head into, again, that second full week. But until here and there, we've got some pretty steamy numbers into and around the area. So outdoor extracurricular activities, going to have to watch that very carefully. Uh, marching band, football, soccer, baseball, whatever you've got going on outdoors at school, post-school extracurricular outdoors. Please make certain you keep an eye on everybody out there as we see those hot conditions continue. Friday night football might actually be decently comfortable instead of blazing hot, so looking a lot better there. And for the weekend, best chance of showers and thunderstorms will be coming up Sunday night and into Monday. That'll be the best chance right there with about a 40% coverage chance coming on through. And then afterwards, hopefully it stays below normal for the time being. But again, there's always that possibility of a bit of a warm-up. Not seeing that, at least for right now. So definitely some good news on there. So again, that's going to be about as good as it gets. We do again have dry conditions in the Mid-South. Lee County, Arkansas, Tate County, Mississippi, the only ones in the News Channel 3 coverage area under burn bans at this time. And a lot more have been added to the list. 19 counties now in Mississippi under burn bans. We're awaiting the update from the state of Tennessee. It was last updated on Friday. Have not gotten the update just yet, but Middle Tennessee and back toward Chattanooga seeing the driest conditions here. And also into Arkansas, plenty of counties, again, seeing the possibility of wildfires getting going. So once again, anything involving, say, outdoor fire pits, barbecue pits, anything that involves open flame, burning of trash, burning of yard waste, check with your fire department or the state departments of agriculture. And if you want to know more about that and see these burn bans issued for yourself on here, go to wreg.com slash weather, scroll down beneath the forecast and links to the tri-state area Department of Agriculture, Division of Forestries are all listed there. Questions about where and what you can burn, if that's what you want to do. Again, now is the time to exercise extreme caution because we could see more wildfires popping up very easily. And that includes that stray cigarette butt kicked out of the window. So drivers who are smokers, keep the cigarette butts in the car before flicking it out the window. You shouldn't be doing that anyway because, again, that's pollution. So please keep them in the car and make certain that, again, you're not going to risk starting a wildfire as you drive away into the distance. Into the tropics, good news of a sort. We're not seeing anything in the northern Gulf or the western Atlantic at this time. We still have Lorenzo several thousand miles away. Winds 105 miles per hour. It's still a Category 2 storm well away from the United States. Now, again, Looking at just air pressure out there, you can see that divot in the atmosphere caused by Lorenzo and a larger storm system to the north. That's going to be kicking this thing over toward Europe. And as it does, it's a good possibility this storm and the one north of it could stir up a lot of wave action, including some along the coastlines here of around 40 to 50 foot high waves. So we're talking about some big problems there if you're heading into around Europe or traveling that direction anytime soon. What we're looking for is a possible new storm system to be developing. There are signs. There's nothing there just yet. Nothing's been named Nothing has even formed at this time, but the computer models are saying the potential of a new storm in the southern Caribbean, south of Cuba, possibly developing and moving into 
the southern Gulf of Mexico sometime late this week and into the weekend. We will keep you updated on that. We'll bring you forecast information from the National Hurricane Center, so please keep it tuned to the weather experts for more on that. Tonight, starting uh, just about maybe a little bit less than 30 minutes from now, back into around uh, Benton County, Tennessee, Big Sandy, Tennessee, Skywarn training from the National Weather Service in Memphis, starting at the Big Sandy Fire Department. Tomorrow night, Huntington, Tennessee, that's at 6.30 p.m. at the Carroll County Emergency Operations Center. This Thursday, Jackson, Tennessee, EOC, Madison County, Tennessee, Thursday at 7 o'clock, and next Monday, one week from tonight, at the McNary County 911 Center in Selmer, Tennessee. Where is all this information at and where are the actual addresses? Follow the National Weather Service on at Memphis on Twitter or on their social media pages or go to wreg.com slash weather and it's all listed there for you so you can find out more details on that. Twin Bruges, I hope I'm saying that correctly, after I posted a story from the BBC about a 30 million ton iceberg calving off of Antarctica. A little bit of a surprised expression there, at least I think that's what that was all about anyway. Kelvin Gates, a nice view from earlier this week from around Indianapolis, or pardon me, near Osceola, Arkansas, but checking in from Indianapolis. Thank you, Mr. Gates, uh, for that one. And Scotty P, 1973. Henry Clyde, making his way out over Sardis Lake at about uh, sunset, and looking quite nice there, so nice to take the dog out for a boat ride and getting a very nice view on Sardis Lake as well. Got weather pictures? Tweet them to me. Post them on Instagram or, again, drop them to my Facebook page or, again, send them to austin.onic at wreg.com. All right, one more check of the forecast into tomorrow morning. Not much in the way of cool uh, news anytime soon, but they will be coming at least over the next few days. But in the meantime, tomorrow morning, a few clouds, mostly sunny, and temperatures for lows only dropping into the lower to mid 70s, and that's going to be about it. I'm in tonight because Jim is out on the road with Go Jim Go, so Tim Simpson is heading out to take care of some things, but he will be back later on tonight for News Channel 3 at 10. I'll be up in just a few minutes on News Channel 3 at 6. And, of course, Todd Demers will have more on your forecast again coming up bright and early tomorrow morning. And Corey Ventura will have Time Saver Traffic also on News Channel 3 Daybreak Tuesday. Thanks for joining us for tonight. We'll have updates on your forecast again throughout the next few days, also on your Facebook pages and all of social media out there on each and every single one of these pages, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. You've been watching Weather Overtime. Thanks a lot for sticking around, and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the evening and throughout the rest of the week.